we find ourselves deep in the inner sanctum of Professor Legume's lab. Joan Adder continues her nefarious activities, wearing a strange helmet. Professor Legume barges in. Adder. Ah, Professor. Glad to see you come by. Have you decided to finally join forces with me? Not at all. In fact, I've decided that you are going to join forces with me. Professor Legume fires the fiber blast. Joan Adder begins to tremble. She jerks. She... Wait. She starts dancing and laughing? <laughs> oh, Professor, do you really think that I didn't plan for the possibility that you might use that against me? The helmet? It, it must have blocked the rays from the fiber blast. You've made a big mistake, Legume, and the time has come to pay, for I have made myself as strong as my minions, much stronger than you'll ever be, String Bean. Never fear, the Tenderizer is here. Suddenly, the Tenderizer appears. But you knew that already. No nugget too dry, no burger too greasy. The tenderizer will save you and set you free, see? Oh. oh. Now, which one of you two needs saving? Oh dear. I guess it's that kind of situation. It's time for you two to chew on the pork chops of justice. Feast upon my black beans of doom. This is lame. Let's just fight already. The battle was on. The tenderizer tries to catch Joan Adder in his sausage links of justice. But with her new super strength, she throws him off effortlessly. <laughs> Professor Legume programs his lime detonator and tosses it at Adder. Yeah. But Adder simply tosses it back. Professor Legume and the tenderizer take cover to avoid the explosion. Adder then grabs the professor and lifts him off the ground. But it's not over yet. The tenderizer throws a greasy slab of raw pork at Adder. No. Now, it's Professor Legume's turn to strike. Taking out his carrot sword, he swings and brandishes it in an impressive show of skill. hi -ya! But Adder just breaks and eats the carrot. Tasty, but not as delicious as my victory. But the tenderizer has another trick up his sleeve. He pulls out a live rooster from his meatility belt, which lets loose a deafening squawk. <laughs> oh, my ears! Seizing the opportunity, Professor Legume attacks with a particularly ticklish sprig of bok choy. Tickle, tickle, tickle! Tickle, tickle, tickle! <laughs> Seizing the moment, the tenderizer removes the helmet from Joan Adder's head. And Professor Legume fires the fiber blast. She trembles, she jerks, she shakes, and she comes under Legume's control. Fatigue, Legume and the tenderizer sit at her down. Now, you just stay there. Anything you say, Professor. But no time for celebration. This battle is not over yet. Well, Tenderizer, it looks like it's just you and me once more. Just like old times, Goomy. As the last time you'll ever call me that. Say goodbye, steak face. Legume fires ray after ray from the fiber blast. Tenderizer ducks, he weaves, he dodges, and then suddenly he gets an idea. He can use Adder's helmet to deflect the beams from the fiber blast. Using the helmet as a shield, he ducks closer and closer to Professor Legume until finally he grabs the fiber blast and smashes it. 
No, no, Adder, destroy this new Krogan off. Yes, the tenderizer has remembered those two words that allow him to take control of someone hit by the fiber blast. Adder was on his side now. What are your orders, Master Tenderizer? You've salted your last cabbage, Professor. Surrender! You win this time, Tenderizer. But I'll be back. You always are. Let's see if the Wonton Police Department can help with that. Adder, come with me. Right away, Master Tenderizer. It seems justice has prevailed once again. Now that Wan Town is back to normal, let's take a look once more at the evening news. Do, 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 do. Welcome back to WTTV News. I'm your host, Lon Gonovan. Our big story tonight, mind control sausages. How Joan Adder almost took over the world. Dr. Valencia, you were there when all of this was happening. What are your comments on what took place? I have to say, Lon, this was one of the strangest days of my life. I never thought I would team up with a vegetarian madman and, um, well, this guy against Adder. Don't worry, health woman. You did great. Health woman? It's your new superhero name. I'm giving it to you right now. Now, Mr. Tenderizer, I- Actually, it's Mr. The Tenderizer. Really? How did it feel taking down two supervillains at once? Well, you know what they say. It's better to season your steak yourself than to use a bunch of A1 sauce. I'm not quite sure what that means. Don't worry. No one understands half the things he says. I just don't understand how a major CEO could be so greedy and power hungry. Now, Mayor Palantina, I understand a decision has been made regarding the punishment for Professor Legum, Boiloni, Satana, and Joan Adder. Indeed it has, Lon. All of Vital Vittles products have been recalled. Adder will be going to jail, of course. As for the others, Boiloni and Satana will have to perform three months of public service. And what of Professor Legum? Well, after consulting with Dr. Valencia, we have decided to release him. But his lab and scientific equipment will be taken over by the great city of Wontown to develop medicines and ways to keep our people healthy. And that does include vegetarianism. We think that Professor Legume's mission wasn't necessarily bad, but the way he was going about it was all wrong. If only he had used his lentils for good. Thank you, Dr. Valencia, Mr. The Tenderizer, and Mayor Palantina. Next up, can a dog really drive a fire truck? WTTV's own fact checkers will give their thoughts right after this. So it seems Professor Legume is released. Does this mean the professor will change his evil ways, or will his wicked deeds continue? Find out on the final episode of Legumaniac. 